use the method of reduction of order to find a second solution of this ordinary differential equation. So we have this ODE and first solution is given. Now we need to use the reduction of order to find a second solution. So here is the formula. By the way, most of the work is done on deriving this formula when we have y double prime plus p y prime plus q y equals zero t positive and y1 is a solution first solution then y2 a second solution is given by first solution times this integral okay integral of e to the negative p t dt over first solution e squared dt okay this is just like integrating factor Okay, while we were studying linear first order ODE with negative sign. I mean, that's in fact the integrating factor, but when we move to the right side, that's negative. So we need to put this ODE in the standard form. That means Y double prime. There, there should not be anything else. So we have T square here. So we divide through by T square. Okay, so the ODE is, once we divide by T square, which is allowed because t is positive then it becomes y double prime minus that's t plus 2 over t 1t cancel with this plus y prime plus t plus 2 over t square y equals 0 then a second solution y2 is given by first solution which is t times uh, this integral on the bottom first solution is squared so t is squared on the top e raised to negative uh, integral of pt dt so integral of pt which is in in this case negative t plus 2 over t and this negative negative cancel so we don't have to write this negative anymore okay so just integral of t plus 2 over t dt so let me do this integral separate here so that we don't have to copy everything else so we have on the top e raised to negative pt but negative pt is also negative and they cancel so we have t over t t plus 2 over t which is same as t over t plus 2 over t t over t is 1 plus 2 over t 1 plus 2 over t dt now antiderivative of 1 is just t plus 2 times 1 over t by the way this is 2 times 1 over t antiderivative of 1 over t is natural log of t and we don't need absolute value because t is positive and let's separate this 2 goes here by the way e to the t times e raised to natural log of t squared and e and natural log when they are adja adjacent the directions cancel so t squared so this integral on the top is by the way e raised to t times t squared so this is t over t squared on the top e to the t times t squared now from top and bottom we can cancel t squared so this is t times antiderivative of et is just et plus constant okay some integral constant and we can distribute this t so t times everything so this is same as t times et plus c times t but we are asked to find a second solution so we can take c as 0 and just t et okay so if we take c equals 0 then we get t et as a second solution by the way ct is already there i mean t is already there so we don't want to list that so t times et is a second solution which is linearly independent to t final